<laughs> Hello, people of the internet. Today's gonna be a bit of a vlog day video. It's the last day that I will be doing anything in this garage other than detailing cars. It's kind of bittersweet. Today's the day that I'm moving my tools over to the new shop, which is gonna be a bit of a process because this thing probably weighs more than the MR2. Just a hunch. Also, if you're new, up above in the corner is a video that has something to do with the MR2, and that will get you caught up on probably nothing that has to do with this video. You're welcome for that useless bit of introduction to the weirdness that is my entire life. Oh, this thing actually rolls pretty easy. Ah. And this is how you get a heavy toolbox onto a car trailer with a crane. Well, I don't have two that are exactly the same length. That's a really big ball. That's a heavy ball. We're putting the straps around the edges of the box. So hopefully it doesn't turn the tool chest into a taco. That'd be really sad. Ooh, that's so nerve wracking. Yay, success, thank you. I would have drove the Focus to the shop, but there's no crash bar on the front of it. There's no front bumper. There's no seat belts. So it's going on the trailer. This car starts up every time. It does nothing but sit for months on end with old gas in it. And it just fires right up. It's such a good car. I get out? Yay! Oh geez. This is mildly sketchy getting out of this thing. Who oh, good? Ugh. We get this little focus back here. Hello, focus. The contractors are still doing some work in the shop, so I just gotta make room temporarily to get these cars in here. Everything's gonna need a good wash and wipe down after. This is kind of mind blowing to me right now. I have a garage to park both of my project cars in. This is no longer sitting in a storage unit and that's no longer rotting outside in the sun. They're in a garage dedicated to working on cars. This is amazing. Good news and bad news. Good news is the valve covers no longer leak. The top half of the engine is good to go on my sister's Xterra. Bad news is that's definitely the rear main seal leaking. These look like absolute poop. If you've made that clear in the comment section, I was aware of it. I just ran out of time and paint. So for my viewers that are used to my high level of OCD, this part is gonna pain you a little bit because no, I am not taking the bumper off the truck and doing a bunch of crazy prep work to ensure that this spray paint job comes out absolutely perfect. I'm just gonna rough it up with some Scotch-Brite and then wipe it down with some alcohol before I spray paint it. So that way it at least has a fighting chance at bonding to this plastic. <laughs> I'm not even gonna wash the thing first. The Scotch-Brite should give the plastic enough of a tooth that that trim black will bond to it. It worked pretty good on the front bumper and I did minimal prep on that. This is why I love cheap vehicles, especially ones that are gonna go off-road and get beat up because you don't have to be perfect with everything. It, it's a nice way to calm down my OCD. A little bit of prep. This still got some scratches, but this is not a restoration, so curb your OCD. I wonder what Nissan did when they went to a plastic manufacturer for these bumpers. They're like, oh, what is your batch that is currently getting thrown away because it was substandard to be used in Tupperwares? This? Okay, great. We'll take 10 million of them and make bumpers. I figured since this is Celine's truck, I might as well have her help. So she's gonna do some of the sanding while I get the stuff ready to paint. How much does it actually bother you having your bumper look like a pistachio nut bar compared to the rest of the truck? Uh, you know. You didn't really care, did you? No. <laughs> I figured. No. 
I was like, it runs, it's all that matters. Let me re-emphasize the fact that she is a half-sister. And apparently that's the half that is not associated with me. <laughs> I will have to admit, just sanding this plastic alone made it match the rest of the trim on the truck. Like, look at that. That's the area that has been scuffed up. You go down here and it's literally white. That's, that's all it takes, just removing the oxidization. I didn't want the inside of her truck to stink like spray paint, so I used some trash bags, but it's, uh, it's nice and masked off. It's gonna be dark in like 30 minutes, so time lapse, engage. Hello, it's the next day. I'm doing some errands right now, running stuff over to the shop. And if you see in the back of this Acura, there is a cardboard box chilling out back there. That is one of the new wheels for my sister's Xterra. And that's what the back bumper looks like in daylight. That was absolutely necessary because that, that green, gray, white crud that it was before, yeah, that was just not working out. It's gonna look good when this thing's vinyl wrapped. I'm kind of excited for this because I know the reaction a lot of you are gonna have when you see this wheel. You're gonna be like, what, why? But the select few of you that get it, you get it. What used to take me an hour to do in my home garage now takes five minutes. Oh, I cannot wait. Hopefully Friday. I'm thinking this week Friday I'll be in here working full-time normal. It's almost done. Almost. They just have to paint it and then they gotta make, uh, close these things off for the bulbs and then put the door and then it's done. I also have a boatload of these LED lights that I need to put up. They're gonna go all along this wall. I was actually thinking about recessing these bulbs behind the edge of the beam so you couldn't see the bulb itself and it would just kind of give a soft ambient light, but it kind of defeats the purpose of having these lights so I can see what I'm doing rather than just to look pretty. I don't know though, it still would be kind of nice to have them recessed under there. It'd be kind of pointless, but it'd be nice. This isn't really an official start to working in the shop because when I actually start working in here, I'll have it all nice and clean and organized and I'll actually remember to bring my impact gun with me because I left it at my house like an intelligent particular individual. Oh geez, this is gonna be heavy and I'm wearing good clothes. It's stuck. Oh. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, ready? Lift. It probably seems on camera like Celine has little say with the customizations that are happening to her Xterra. And that's because she has partial say in the <laughs> upgrades that are happening to her truck. But I mean, it works out for you because I'm buying this stuff for you. Yeah, I mean, if you're buying it, you get the biggest say in it, so. <laughs> They even say Nissan on them. I bet you didn't see that one coming, did you? They're steel wheels. They're OEM Nissan steelies. They're 16 by sevens. The factory alloys are 15 by sevens. And this has a little bit more aggressive an offset. I believe this is a 30 mil offset and the factories are 40 to 48 mil offset. Correct me if I'm wrong, but Best budget off-road wheel. I love the way these look, and they're great for doing repairs when you're overlanding or off-roading on the trail because it's steel and you can just bend the wheel back into place if you taco one. The question is, what do you think? Because it's your truck. It's badass. You like it? Yeah. If all else fails, you can always plasti dip them white so you can get a temporary look to see if you like it or not.
I'll have to admit, the black steely doesn't look bad either, though. I don't want to clean it. <laughs> That's the only issue. I mean, I can agree, white wheels would be a huge pain, but a white steely would look so sick on this thing. Leave a comment below, what do you think? Paint these, probably not powder coat. These were like literally 50 bucks a piece. Comment below, what do you think? White steelies? Something we both agreed on, which is kind of cool because she doesn't usually give too much of a damn about car styling, but this is something that she did agree looks better. And that is the type of tire that we're gonna get for this thing. And the size is a 235-85-16. The factory tire, like I said, is a 31-10.5. The 235-85 is going to be slightly narrower than this and slightly taller. It would be the equivalent of a 31.7 height-wise, and I believe this is just a 31 exactly, or maybe really close to that. So basically, it's the exact opposite of what most people do when they think of lifting a truck and putting bigger wheels and tires. It seems like everyone goes super wide, like big mud terrain tires, and that's not what's gonna happen with this. See if I can do this without getting dirty. Oh no, wheel! <laughs> Stop, I summoned thee. Either way, it's not gonna be any clearance issues with the size tire. Hopefully the next video you watch, I'll be able to start working in this garage permanently. The following day, and that's the last day of this video, I promise. But before I go, I just realized I have a bit of a conundrum. As you can see, I'm sitting in another car that I'm about to do a car review on, but I don't have anywhere to review this car. <laughs> so the warehouse is gone and my shop's not quite ready. I might film car reviews out of my shop. It's a lot smaller, but it's nice having an overhead like coverage to film in because the sun is unbearable in most of the year here and it will overheat my camera. So. Just bear with me for the next couple car reviews. I don't know how I'm gonna get these done, but I'm going to. I've been looking forward to doing this review right here for you guys for so long. It's the new Mazda 3 Turbo with all wheel drive. It is about damn time that they made this car happen. I'm so excited because I was such a huge fan of the Speed 3, but the Speed 3 had horrible torque steer because it was only front wheel drive. Well, they fixed it. Now this has all wheel drive, but it only comes with a six-speed auto. So fix one problem, cause another. Either way, super excited to review this, and that's probably the next video you guys are going to see on the channel. So without further ado, I'll let you guys go, and I'm going to stop rambling now. So have a good day or night, wherever you're watching this. Bye!